good evening, guys. And yeah, it's like eight o'clock now. Well, like nearly nine o'clock. But yeah, welcome, welcome back, East Ends fans, to um, <laughs> yeah, welcome back to my review of uh, reviews of EastEnders. What's it? I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, welcome back. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Yes, I'm doing it out here because it's very nice and beautiful outside. So, yeah, why not? Yeah, why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? But, yeah, um, yes, tonight's season was amazing, brilliant, and fantastic. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. So, yeah, um, yeah, it was. So, so yeah, there was been threatening going on, and some troops come out. So yeah, sit back and relax for my review of tonight's Eastenders. Let's get saucy. I mean, let's get saucy. I'm joking. I'm joking. Yes. Hello, guys. Hello. Hello. Hello, it's nice, nice outside. So yeah, um, welcome back to my Slims reviews. What an episode it was! Yes, it was, and there was tension wise. But yeah, so yeah, here's the synopsis of the episode. Stephen struggles to prepare for the recent events. Lauren receives a surprise visit. Sharon attempts to fix things for Louise. Yes, there was quite, there was a lot of tension. Um, in the household of the Mitchells, of course. Um, Sharon tries to fix things to see Keegan, of course. Yeah, to see Keegan. Um, to try and fix things. And, and Karen um, tells Keegan, tell me the truth. How did you know about that girl's um, birthmark? And we find out that it was Denny. It was Dennis, and she was, he was trying to... Uh, um, Trying to, to be with the big boys. Trying to be with the big boys. He's like... Little shit. Yeah, little shit. So, yeah. Um, it was. It was just like... Oh, my God. Tension rises. Damn. In the mistress house. And then... Karen brings Keegan to the mistress house. And... And... Oh, Keegan has to say something. Who he says... Oh... Good evening, man. See what he said, has to say. And yeah, he. But try it. Louis says stuff to Keegan. And yeah. And he says, I'm sorry. Like in a deep, like in a crying voice. And like, oh, Keegan, touch my heart. This is the one person I get. Um, I get annoyed at Keegan, but I feel sorry for him for a bit. And, and I feel sorry for him because he likes Louise, and yeah. So yeah, I felt sorry for him for for a bit. But yeah, it's a soap. So yeah. So on to the Brannon storyline, of course, of this week, Stephen. Yes, after last night's episode. Stephen um like goes all frustrated to Abby and it's like why why she did you do it and that uh, and yeah yeah and tries to find Lauren and yeah it goes all tensions rise it does and yeah and Stephen threatens um Stephen has heart to heart with Ian Stephen tries to find Lauren. Stephen threatens Josh. Well, Josh surprisingly turns up as like, whoa, damn, Josh is coming up. And like, yeah, Stephen's a creep. Aaron's a great actor who, it, it was a brilliant performance for um, Steve, um, Aaron Sidwell in this episode. I loved his performance in this. Because he, he had the creepy side in this episode. And yeah, he's threatening Josh and Abby as well because he she was getting involved as well because she's the jealous sister, and like, yeah, 
and it's like getting furious. And yeah, Oscar says goodbye to um, his dad, um, Max, and yeah, Max was like, <laughs> flip the thing, and then it ended. And I, I feel sorry for Max for a bit, but yeah, he's getting with it, and he just got revenge for Jack, and Jack done that for him, and like, oh, what has Max done now? And yeah, it was like, damn, oh, damn. But yeah, I love the funny moments between um, Martin, drunk Martin, was like, yeah, he's Martin, yeah, he's Martin. Because it, she's ha he's happy that he's having a baby with Stacey and that. So yeah. So, my conclusion of the episode. EastEnders was... Which I don't know how to say um, was brilliant, heart wrenching, heart wrenching to what? Well, heart wrenching because just, just um, Stephen being a creep as always, um, and br and amazing. I really, really enjoyed this episode. I keep saying this every single time. I really enjoyed EastEnders. I. Like the last couple of weeks, I've um, felt dull um, in some episodes, but this week and last week has been brilliant. I so can't wait for more or in the summer. And yeah, so yeah, Eastlands was heart wrenching, brilliant, and fantastic and amazing. So I'm going to give it um, tonight's Eastlands a nine point three out of ten because it's amazing and really, really good. So. Hope you enjoyed this, my review, guys. Give this big thumbs up. Comment down below what you thought of tonight's episode and what you thought of my thoughts of tonight's episode. And yeah, EastEnders continues at half seven on BBC One um, t on Thursday, so yeah, you don't want to miss it. And yeah, so yeah, comment down below. Keep on subscribing to my channel. Click here to um, to watch my latest, uh, yeah, my yesterday's review and click here to subscribe and if you enjoyed this just give this a thumbs up or leave a comment yeah comment subscribe and like give this a big thumbs up big thumbs up hope you enjoy this review guys and see you soon for another review bye and more sketches bye oh, I'm gonna do this. so yeah hope you enjoy this, my reviews guys and see you Soon, not so funny comedian. Signing, not so funny comedian. Signing out. Bye.